Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. Welcome to this channel. This particular topic is not really deep, but you're asking this question because it's affecting you deeply. The question is, what does it mean when your wife forgets your birthday? Well, we take great pride at the Marriage Foundation on focusing on marriage as a, a mechanical thing, you might say, where it has moving parts. And when you know how to work your marriage, when you know what to do and what not to do, where to be coming from, how to behave, it functions to deliver love and happiness. And I came up with all of this because I used to be a divorce mediator over 22 years ago, and a couple asked me to help them save their marriage, so I did a deep study of marriage without the Western psychological layers. I approached it from the question of why do we get married? And we get married for happiness, primarily. We get married for happiness, and happiness comes primarily from love. You know, there's fleeting happiness, the shallow stuff, the mundane things when, you know, we just waxed our car and it looks great, we were happy, but that's not the kind of happiness that we want ultimately. We want that depth. You don't have that in your marriage right now if you're asking this question. If your wife is forgetting your birthday, it's not a good sign. I mean, unless she's just a totally forgetful person, but if she's forgetting your birthday, it means you're not first in her mind. And don't blame her for that. That would be a huge mistake on your part. Rather say, wow, I must not be fulfilling my role as her husband, making her feel so loved, so part of me, that she would never forget my birthday. You see, we like to blame the other for things that we don't appreciate. Oh, it's her fault that she forgets my birthday. But that isn't accurate. I mean, even a dog. Let's say you had a dog, and every time you saw the dog, you kicked it as you walked by. And after a while, this dog that when it was a puppy would wag his whole body seeing you and lick you and jump all over you and now he sees you and you've trained him to avoid you even a dog much more so a sensitive human being they will do anything a wife will do anything for a man who truly loves her and you might say no I truly love her but she forgets my birthday and I'm going you may say you truly love her. You may even think you truly love her. But if you were to examine, dispassionately look at your behaviors with your wife, you would stop and go, well, I guess she could take that the wrong way. See, the mind always wants to blame the other. So what do you do? You take it as a wake-up call. Now, maybe you're already a subscriber to this channel, which would be great because you'll learn about marriage the right way. But truthfully, if your marriage has gone this far down to where she's not even remembering your birthday, and I'm just being candid, I'm speaking to you, then chances are there's been this buildup of things that you have been doing that has been alienating more and more. And you need to now step it up in the right direction. And I'm this is not a sales pitch, but I'm going to be truthful. You can't do it without guidance. You can't do it just by even reading one of my books. You need at this point the course for men because there's so much that you're doing wrong because women naturally remember dates. It's normal for them to remember dates. It's part of how they live, much more so than men. And so it's not a good sign. It's a bad sign. And it's something you should work on. 
Now I'll also add, even though it's not a sales pitch, that when you take the course for men, there's a three day free trial. So you have nothing to lose and you have so much to gain. But to just merely address this one thing all by itself would be a huge mistake because it's a big thing. It's not a little thing. Now, don't be too discouraged. It's not over unless you quit. You're not a, you have free will, you have volition, you have the ability to turn things around. But don't try it on your own. That's a fair warning to you. It took me a long time to learn what I had to learn about marriage, about how to treat women, how women should treat men. And I want to pass it on to you. And the best way for you is to get the course for men. You could try the one of the books. It's cheaper, but it isn't going to work. So that's it. And I hope you like the video, even though I kind of scolded you and made you feel bad. I have been known for making some people feel bad. And I would rather do that and wake you up than not do that and let you just keep hurting your marriage. Okay, is that fair enough? So again, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. If you want to leave a nasty message, you can. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just going to delete it anyway. Um, but otherwise, God bless you. I hope you visit again. I hope you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again. God bless you and take care. Thank you.